Jessica, where do you start? Or where do they start? Well, they start in the driver's seat, essentially. They're in the same position that the Democrats were eight years ago when Barack Obama won the White House. They have control of the White House after January 20th. They also have a majority in the U.S. Congress, making the question not if they'll accomplish their agenda, but when. After eight years of opposition between the White House and Capitol Hill, Republican lawmakers are in the majority in Congress and aiming to reverse many of Obama's policies. We've been working on our tax reform legislation for over a year. We've been working on our... House Speaker Paul Ryan told one U.S. TV network he coached members to train like a sports team, waiting for a championship game. Our committees, what I told our committees a year ago, our members is, assume we get the White House in Congress. And then come 2018, what do you want to have accomplished for the country? The question now is which priority gets worked on first? Will it be overturning outgoing President Barack Obama's national health care plan, known as Obamacare? He'll meet with lawmakers on Wednesday to try and block incoming U.S. President Donald Trump's efforts to repeal it. You know, if you look at Obamacare, where you have, in many cases, over 100 percent increase, it's unaffordable. It doesn't work. Or will Congress focus first on confirming a new Supreme Court justice, tilting the balance of the court to conservatives rather than progressives? Or will members seek to approve new tax reform, infrastructure spending, banking deregulation or drilling rights for energy companies? One thing seems certain, the new Congress will investigate the U.S. intelligence community's conclusion that Moscow influenced the U.S. presidential election to favor Trump. While the president-elect has downplayed the allegations, his own political party is leading the charge for an inquiry. Russia is attempting to undermine the very base of what makes the Constitution work, which is the belief in a free and fair election system. Then there's Trump's cabinet, 21 positions that need Senate confirmation. A number of the nominees face opposition from Democrats and some from both parties. Trump's Secretary of State pick Rex Tillerson doesn't support economic sanctions. And Trump's choice to lead the Environmental Protection Agency, Scott Pruitt, is a skeptic of man-made climate change. And, Mike, we've already seen Donald Trump take on his own party just in the last couple of hours, forcing them to reverse themselves in the U.S. Congress, in the House specifically, on an ethics vote. And we're likely to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Republicans on things like Russian sanctions over the allegations of Russian hacking in the U.S. election, and even on trade tariffs against China. So it's going to be a wild ride. Yeah, things will be interesting. Jessica Stone, live for us on Capitol Hill. Thanks so much.